hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. No. Funny story, I caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. All right. That's my one. Well, you might think differently come year three or four. All professional arguments are really personal arguments, if you know what I mean. Like how you're always jealous that Vladimir's stronger than you are? Hey, it's not that. I just don't like losing a bet. Besides, when a man lifts you over his head, you make peace with certain things. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. There's no you-have-to-be-this-tall sign for space. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? I feel the same. I always get antsy, planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Three Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. Okay, we'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you wanna do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger.
Beginning landing cycle. Right, we're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co., first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After Planetfall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers out on the frontier put down. Yeah, and the Coers have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at gal bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. It's just behind me on the right. The place is on lockdown, so you should steer clear unless you can help out. Not usually, but he took charge of the situation because the bank robbers are part of the Shaw gang. The marshal's had a lot of experience dealing with the gang, so he's calling the shots. For all I know, 
because there was an attempted bank robbery and things went sideways. You'd have to ask the marshal if you want the whole story. I guess that'd be the marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbang vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> supposed to do with that you need to stand back now it's a hostage situation now please get back or I'll have the guards drag you away well I'm a little busy right now so if you don't mind I need you to hang back Kila City at its finest I see never a dull moment well I'll be damned Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. It's a big group that hides outside the city and runs smuggling jobs off-world. They take in all kinds, rookies and veterans alike. Judging by their lack of preparation, I'd say this particular group is green as hell. Probably their first attempt at heist. That should work in our favor. Right about now, they're probably wishing they just stayed home. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Without demands, I ain't got much to work with. About all we can do is wait and see. It might come to that, but first I just want you to talk to them. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can Jury see him. And don't try to choke. You're the negotiator, huh? You think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender? You're dead wrong. Uh, it, it's Jed. Jed Bullock. Ain't you polite. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? You're damn right I do. We're the ones holding all the cards here, and if we don't get what we want, there's gonna be blood on the marshal's hands. Yeah, well, the marshal can think what he wants. I'll make my own mind up. They talk too damn much. Complain about everything. As much as we'd like to, none of us have shot one yet. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? What, you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh hell, the Free Star Rangers have got shifts. They can give us one of them. It's 
whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Sometimes bad things happen to innocent people. That's life. Nice try. But the Shaw Gang don't scare that easy. The Marshal might take us down, but we'll take down some of his on the way. I promise you that. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Now you'd be wasting your time. Or worse, it'd make them angry. No sense risking that. Yeah, you're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, They'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. Once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. The shark gang's making fools of us all. Sometimes I feel sorry for them. Well, sometimes.
thank you so much. Nice work. They've got the marshal by the balls. I'm sure everything will turn out just fine. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Mighty confident, aren't you? Well, I've got no cause to doubt you as long as you get results. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to the Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now their lives are on the ground. Let's get back in Galbanks. Well, we done. Done.